Hey, how's it going, guys? I am on a different platform. Uh, due to the last episode, uh, there was a lot of manipulation going on, so I thought I would try a, uh, a platform that is actually based in real casinos. Uh, so these are real live tables. Uh, unfortunately, with that, I have to use the manual trackers instead of the auto trackers. So I've been tracking this dealer at the moment. He had a depth of 0012, 0011. He's currently on a depth of 1. My balance is 220. I'll be doing a $1 per number. I did just uh, get a win uh, before I started recording. So uh, that took me up to 108. So I did a three, three unit bet. Uh, that's number six. So it has gone to a depth of two again. Uh, so this would probably be the optimal time for me to place a bet. So I'm going to go in uh, on number six. And I'm just going to do one pound per number. So you can see there, 0012, currently on a depth of two. So I'm just going to see what happens. I've set my um, step system sheet to one pound per number. Now keep in mind it is a real casino, so it takes a lot longer for them to do the spins compared to the studio roulette. So basically we're covering from number 5 round to 32, we're covering the highlighted section. To address uh, someone else's comment, they asked me what the colours mean. The colours don't mean anything, it's just as a separator so it doesn't all merge in as a block. It, the only information that you really want to be looking at is the depths there, the depth of wins. Uh, where's that one gone to? 24, we missed it by one. <laughs> Typical. So anyway, that's gone to 24. So what I'm going to do is put an L in there and we're going to step down and do two units per number on number 24. So we're going to go here, we're going to go one, two. And like I said, it does take a while for them to do a spin because there's actually people putting bets on the tables. It is a, a real casino and I thought it'd be a you know change of pace using one of these because like I said in the last video there was a quite a bit of manipulation with uh, I think it was roulette azure and these studio roulette things aren't really governed by the gaming commission I don't I don't think they can be with the amount of a uh, fuckery <laughs> as a better word that I've seen on some of the tables so I thought it'd be interesting to try this and see uh, the difference because I do like going to a live casino that's gone to 30, so that is a win. So we've got the uh, $2, uh, £2 win there. So that's put me up there. So I'm 15 in profit. Uh, that did go to a depth for three, though. So I'm going to submit that and then reevaluate uh, because this dealer was doing typically ones and twos and a few zeros. So what I'll do, I'll go to another table and let's just track, um, I don't know what's going on here, let's close that one, I think that's opened the evolution thing. But yeah, these are the, the live tables that I'm looking at. Uh, so if we go to Roulette Glasgow, and what I'm going to do is obviously reset the calculator here. Uh, what I've noticed on here, you can go back uh, here and I think I'm okay, it's 19 minutes past. But whenever I track numbers that have come out previously, I always watch the dealer for a few spins just to make sure if they have got a pattern that it's kind of holding true. So that went to 25, then 14, then 2, then to 7, 24, number 5. And then that went 14, 27, 23, 36, and to 26, 0, 24, 14, 15, 16. Look at that, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so, okay. A little bit of a mixed one. We've got lots of ones there, but he did have a depth of five. He's currently on a depth of two. Uh, so this is kind of telling me that the unhighlighted section is best at the moment, but I don't like seeing it when it's 
low depths and then a single block of high depths. I like seeing it all or nothing. So the dealer, I've getting lots and lots of high depths or lots and lots of low depths. And um, yeah, he's got a mix there. So and he's on a depth of two. So I would say that table is not one to play on. Uh, let's have a look at Sheffield Roulette. And again, I will refresh the calculator. We'll go back. And that went to 24, 4, 30, 33, and back to 30. 16, 5, 32. So 16, 5, 32. 26, uh, yeah, 26, 19. And 26. 1923 and then 1612 so we got 1 6 12 14 30 35 14 30 35 1927 1927 25 <laughs> And then two. So let's have a look and see what the table's telling us. Okay, a mixed bag again. We've got a depth of two zero 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 one zero one two two zero zero zero. Not really worth playing on that table. So this is part and parcel of tracking dealers as well. You can't uh they can't all just be uh perfect, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So you do have to put the time in and find the tables to play on. And if you don't find a pattern, you don't play. It's as simple as that. So let's uh, do this one. So 7, 8, 25, 32, 26, 9, 17, 30, 9, 17, 30, 21, 24, 21, 24, just going to wait for this to update because it's, yep, yeah, that's gone 16. And then we can go across 35, then 15, 23, 2, 27, 35 twice, 34, 0, 34, 0, and 26. So, yeah, I mean, this one's looking better. Betting on a depth of one and two seems to be the smart, you know, where, where you place the bets on this one. Depth of one and two. Now, dealer hasn't gone past a depth of two. It starts here at a depth of one. So remember to minus one off that. So it's one, zero, 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 one, two, one, two, one, one. And that's gone to 25. So that's on a zero again. So yeah, I, in this instance, I'd wait for it to go to a depth of one before I start making any bets. Now with this table, it only goes up to a neighbor's bet of eight. So we want a neighbor's bet of nine. So what we would do is select eight, and then when you make your bet here, so say we bet on number six, I'm looking at the highlighted numbers. Now just outside of the highlighted numbers, I would have to put a bet on number 32 and number five as well, because that would make it to a neighbor bet of nine when doing this. Now, in most casinos, it only does a neighbor bet of five, which uh, is a pain in the ass. So I'm going to set that to one pound per number. Looks like he's back in the highlighted section again. So this is what I want to see. So, uh, oh, actually, 20, oh, yeah, 25 went to 17, yeah. So it's right next door to it. Now, I do like to see the highlighted's coming out because when you're betting on a depth of one the chances of it going to the highlighted section is higher and you can see here in the depth count here we've got a, oh I need to undo that I just uh, clicked it so 15 and 9 I think that's actually a bug there I've just noticed so if you click on that it seems to to uh, tally it yeah you can see there it's adding the zeros so if I undo that it's adding zeros Hmm. Is that actually undoing it? 16, 24, 21. Why is that 
doing that. I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, I'm going to reset that and just go from the get-go there. So 23 went to 2, 27, 35 twice. So anyway, that's a bug that I've just found on the uh, manual tracker there. 35, 35, 34, 0, 26, 25, 17, and 13. So yeah, he's still in the highlighted section. So you can see here he's had a nice run of highlighted back to the highlighted. So at the last 10 spins, he's hit the highlighted seven times. Okay, that looks like it has gone to number 29. So that is now at a depth of one. So I will be putting my neighbor bet on number 29. And I'm also going to put a pound on 15 and 16 because they're just outside of the highlighted section. So I'm going to go 15 and 16 like this. That's good, that's 22. Yeah, right in the center there, that's good. So we'll submit 22. I'm gonna put a win in here. So I'm at 32, so really only need one more win and that will uh, put me to my target. Uh, I mean, my target was higher, I'm just doing another, uh, basically I did get a, a nice win before I started recording, um, but I started this session uh, later, so my initial deposit was 50, uh, 200 pounds, and I've made 52 pounds already. But for the recording, I'm I'm trying to get the target, which is displayed on the step system. Okay, that's gone highlighted again. So, yeah, this dealer is really favoring that highlighted section, which is good to see. So we've got depth of, like, from where we've recorded it, 11100010. One, 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 zero, 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 one, zero. Uh, if I was just initially tracking this, I would be saying a depth of zero and one. But previously, I could see I had a, a couple of depths of two in there as well. So I feel like a depth of one is probably the safer bet. But I could be wrong because... I would have got that win and uh, you know it's all about what you're comfortable with as well like i say these tools are just tools they're showing you the dealer's spin history their patterns in no way is it guaranteed you're not guaranteed to win just because you're using the tools it also takes a lot of um intuition from the person using the tools to make their own decisions but yeah you can see here he's back in the highlighted section again on number 12 so he is just favoring that unhighlighted section so you see the last four results 29 was there then that went to 22 which is there then it went back to 29 which is there and then 12 which is there so he's keeping it in this area which is uh really good to see so you know sometimes when it's like this you've got to ask yourself is it is it why is it better just betting on the highlighted or waiting for it to go to a depth of one this is a tough one if i was um just started tracking this dealer and saw these results i would be saying betting on a zero and one would be the uh, smart way to go but uh you know it's okay to be patient wait for that depth of one to come out and that's gone to four so no that's back in the highlighted again it moved around a little bit, so depth of, uh, well, not a depth, but it's gone zero, 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 one, zero, zero, zero is looking very, very nice. So I might risk it. Uh, it, you know, part of me now is saying, oh, I should wait until it goes to a depth of one, but 
let's go on that. So we're going to go 28 and 36. So now we've covered all of those highlighted numbers. Okay, should have waited. <laughs> should have, could have, would have. So that's gone to 31. It's just the way it goes. Uh, so now I'm on step two. So I'm going to do two units per number on 31. So I'll go there. I'm going to go 31, which is here, 1, 2. And I'm also going to put two units on 3 and 23, like this. Yeah, very nice signature. Beautiful. So there we go. Got the win. That's put my balance to 267. And uh, I am at £47 profit in this video session. I did make a, a little bit extra on the previous one. Uh, but I forgot to press record. <laughs> so there we go. That's £47. My advised target was 50 for this. And we got loss win, uh, loss win, win, loss win. Okay, so yeah, I'm just looking. It's loss win, then win, then it is loss and a win. That gave me forty-seven pound profit. I'm happy there. My balance is two sixty-seven. So what I'm going to do is go to the cashier, and I am going to withdraw from here. I'm not sure how to do this, um, but we will figure it out together. So you got log out. They always make it difficult to <laughs> withdraw. There we go, withdrawal. I will take out sixty-seven pounds. Continue. I understand withdraw, and that's going to put me back down to two hundred pounds. And yeah, we will uh, do another session like that. And I'll remember to click record this time. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the session. Drop your comments below. Um, let me know if you like me doing these live tables or if you prefer the studio ones. I think the studio ones are, are seeing a lot of manipulation, so I thought it was a good idea to try these ones. This platform does have those studio tables on there as well, but uh, like I said, if you're playing at a real casino table, the chances of manipulation is going to be far less likely. Anyway, take care, bet smart, and I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe now.